The title of the presentation is The Role of Pascal Tables in the Birth of Central European Historiographical Production. Um, so Pascal Tables are usually considered as one of the main vectors of transmission of early medieval and high medieval analytic production. Uh, since the editions of uh, Merovingian and Carolingian annals in the first volume of the Scriptores in Folio serial of the Monumenta Germania Historica uh, in 1826. The role of Pascal tables are also being considered as fundamental in the genesis of Central European, and by Central European, I mean Polish, uh, Czech, and Hungarian analytic production, especially. Uh, in Poland and in Bohemia at the turn of the 10th and 11th centuries, as it was traditionally viewed as the main support of transmission of German uh, analytic uh, material in this region. However, this theory uh, has been recently questioned by some scholars who suggested that the influence of Pascal tables in the birth of Central European historiographic production might have been considerably overrated. The present communication will thus aim to contribute to the evaluation of the role played by uh, the Pascal tables in the birth of Central European historiographical production. Um, so this evaluation is, uh, of course, very complicated to assess because the main problem in this examination of the role played by the Pascal tables in the birth of Central European uh, historiographical production is the lack of direct sources. Uh, we don't have the oldest analytic works uh, produced in this region. Uh, we don't have uh, manuscript evidence or, uh, for transmission of uh, direct manuscript evidence for transmission uh, of uh, German uh, historiographical um, material. So we have to work on um, comparative analysis of extant sources, later sources from usually 12, uh, 13, uh, centuries, uh, sometimes even uh, later sources. So the results that we can obtain through this uh, comparative analysis are, of course, in uh, some measure uh, hypothetical. So this is why uh, the present paper has, of course, also a rather, I would say, hypothetical dimension. So it's like it is rather a contribution uh, to the discussion. So, uh, so to try to present the historiographical German material used in the oldest Central European historiographical production, that is until the middle of the 12th century. If you look at Bohemia, uh, we have first an excerpt of about 15 notes from the Annals of Kovai, which was also later used in Poland and in Magdeburg. We have an analytic compilation belonging to the groups of the lost Annals of Ersfeld, today Bad Ersfeld, Bad Ersfeld in Germany. Uh, are actually close to the so-called Annals of Hildesheim and the Annals of Quedlinburg. Um, we have also uh, the influence of Reginald of Prum's Chronicle and its continuation, also Chronicle Universale from uh, Fruthoff of Michelberg and later continued by uh, Eckehardt of uh, Aura. Uh, in Poland, we can see the same excerpt of 15 notes uh, from Calvian uh, sources. Uh, we can see the so-called Freudian Annals, which is called in Polish Rocznik Obce, uh, which is uh, believed to be an analytic compilation, probably written in Mainz, Germany, around uh, 970, and containing about 17 notes from different annals, namely Annals of Rationale, an, an analytic compilation with uh, full Dokolumian features, and an analytic compilation belonging to the group of lost Annals of Ersfeld, this time close, closer to the Annals of Weissenburg, that is today's uh, in Alsace, uh, and the Annals of Lambert of Erzfeld. Uh, in the case of Hungary, we can see no direct influence of the analytics, which is also linked to the fact that Hungarian medieval analytics is much smaller than uh, Bohemian and Polish uh, analytic productions. Uh, but we can see probable use of some German historiographical works in the Lost Ancestor of Hungarian Chronicles. Uh, this Lost Ancestor is probably from um, the second half of the 11th century or the first quarter of the 12th century. In this uh, source, we can see probable, influ probable influence of Reginald of Plum's Chronicle and its continuation, also Annals of 
in der Alltag in uh, Bavaria and uh, Annals of Lambert of Ersfeld once more. So uh, if we look at uh, those uh, annals, uh, those German annals, we can see that some of them were written in the margins of uh, Pascal tables, as it was the case uh, for the annals of Reichenau in the so-called Codex of Wilhelm that is now kept in Bibliothèque Nationale de France in Paris. And here we can see uh, the Pascal tables. We can see the margins that actually uh, are contains the entries, analytic entries for different years, um, uh, which gives uh, the information that compose actually the annals of the uh, monastery of Reichenau. So the analysis, the analysis of the codicological environment of uh, the medieval German annals shows that at the time of the transfer of the German analytic uh, material in Central Europe, that is turn of uh, 12th, 10th and 11th century, practice of writing the annals in the margin of Pascal tables was still in use, as shown, for instance, as by the cases of the annals of Rationau in the Codex of Wilhelm that we just saw on the uh, former slide, and of the annals of Corvai, which were written in the same way. Uh, however, we must state that the manuscripts containing the annals uh, of the Erzerdian group do not share this feature. They were not written on um, margins of Pascal tables. We must also add that the length of the text could also have uh, played a role in the support used for its transmission. Therefore, it is very unlikely that Reginos of Prunes Chronicle, which is very, uh, a very extensive text where an analytic entry is about one or two pages in modern edition, uh, probably could not have been written in the margin of Pascal tables because it was simply too big for that. Uh, so the work with Chauter's entries, such as the foreign annals used in Poland or the Corvignan excerpt, when one entry is about one sentence of usually less than 10 words, uh, could have been written on Pascal tables, but they could also have functions as autonomous text. And here I would like to give an example of a work inspired by the Corvignan Czech excerpt, that is the so-called Annales Magdeburgenses Brevissimi, written between uh, 1063, 1078, which is today kept in Czech Republic in Bishabrot uh, Monastery Library. And here we can see that the annals uh, function as an autonomous text written uh, on the two pages uh, at the end of the codex. We can also see from the content of the codex that although this codex do not contain Pascal tables, it contains a computus work namely the Computus of Elpheric of Auxerre. And now I would like to say a few words about the codicological environment of the oldest preserved Central European annals. So we can see that for Bohemia, uh, the uh, 12th century manuscript uh, containing the annals of Radisko and Novatovice that is today kept in Vienna, uh, begins with a short work of Computus. We can, however, the 15 manuscripts containing the curriculum of the Czechs of Cosmos of Prague and its continuation do not contain any computistic work. Uh, and the Annals of Prague uh, are known by an Italian manuscript, so they cannot be used to study the uh, Czech um, codicological production. Uh, in the case of Poland, we can see that the Annals of uh, Krakow chapter are the only one out of a half a dozen Annals and about 15 manuscripts, which are contained in a codex, which also contains computistic words, uh, Pascal tables, but also mnemotechnical poems about compute, compute and diagram. Uh, in the case of Hungary, we have only one preserved uh, uh, high medieval annals, uh, the Hanales Posonienses, uh, which are containing only one manuscript, the so-called Codex Play, from the end of the uh, 12th century, kept uh, today in Budapest. And the annals are written in uh, the folio 9, 9, and 16, and they surround different words, including the two Pascal tables over small codicological units, uh, also a diagram. Um, but uh, as we can see, in the, the case of Hungary is very specific because uh, the corpus is of only one text and one manuscript. 
So the analysis of the ecological environment of the oldest preserved Central European annals shows that only a few of them were written in manuscripts containing composititive works, which also shows that none of them were written in the margin of Pascal tables. And to conclude, uh, the potential roles of Pascal tables as a vector of transmissions of the German historiographical material is limited to a small part of this material, mostly the Freud annals used in Poland and the Corvian except, um, which they had mainly influence on one historiographical tradition, that is the Polish one, although the Corvian except uh, played also a role um, in the development of Czech analysis books. The analysis of German and Central European manuscripts containing uh, annals also shows that although the practice of recording events in the margin of Pascal table was still in use at the period of transfer of German historiographical material in Central Europe, the link between analytics and computistics is significantly weaker for the oldest European preserved central annals. One may wonder if this change occurred in Central Europe or if it already happened in Germany before the transfer of the analytic material. However, the lack of evidence does not enable us to answer to this question. The transfer of the analytic material to Pascal table remained possible, uh, especially as the first two bishop of Poznań, uh, so the first Polish bishopric, uh, as well as the first and third bishop of Prague are also identified as possible author of the transfer um, of this analytic material. Uh, it seems plausible that those bishops would have brought liturgical manuscripts, which could have contained Pascal tables with analytic notes written on their margins to their dioceses. However, the Polish scholar Tomasz Szaszynski underlined that the links between um, underlined the links between the foreign annals using Poland and the Ottonian historiography, and such links might also have existed for the Corbian excerpt. If those hypotheses are valid. They would suggest that these works could have been autonomous texts, as we saw in the case of the uh, text uh, produced in Magdeburg and kept today in Bo southern Bohemia in Vyshevorod, uh, and were thus not written at the margin of Pascal tables. So, to finish, Pascal tables could thus have played a role in the transmission of some German elastic works to Bohemia and Poland but they are not the only possible vector of transmission. And I would like to thank you very much for your attention.